I think one uh, important uh, thing to bear in mind is that um, you, you need to be adaptive, you need to have an open mind as well as being resilient. Uh, but other more concrete advice is uh, that, that businesses, you know, when investing towards technological changes, I mean, they need to make sure that it's more sort of focused on the fundamentals and not on the incremental changes. So incremental changes may help in terms of the short run, but will not help towards the longer term changes that will come. So I think that's one thing that a lot of business leaders are looking into. Uh, and the other thing, of course, is the need for collaboration. Not one stakeholder can really sufficiently um, adapt uh, on their own, but you know, through collaboration across sectors, even with your competitors, I think will help as a whole uh, to stay afloat of these technological challenges. I think one you know, important principle is definitely in terms of prioritization. Um, you cannot spread across the resources or attention evenly. You, you do need to prioritize and make sure that, especially those in the rural areas or those underprivileged areas, have more attention and capacity so that they can, you know, in a way, bridge uh, the current deficit. The other thing, though, I would mention is that when it comes to digital economy, there is, uh, as long as you know, sufficient infrastructure, literacy, and you know, talent development is there, there is the potential towards even those who are currently lagging behind to leapfrog. So, you know, in the past, even before the generative AI uh, development, a lot of countries, a lot of different sectors actually felt that, you know, we would go through a linear stage of development. We would first, you know, have the first or second industrial revolution to then go on to the third. I think what uh, AI and, you know, a lot of these advanced technologies are showing us is that that doesn't necessarily have to be the case. Now with digital economy, you see uh, farmers, you know, with mobile technologies actually improving, you know, their knowledge, their adaptability towards their current conditions. So I think that's one uh, bright sort of spot that we would emphasize. But again, you know, inclusivity is actually key because without that, you will not have a nationwide development and also you will have persisting problems.